Hi, Christine from Norway. So I'm going to show you the demonstration for our moth. Here is our telescopic wand. It is adjustable here. You just twist it and adjust it up or down as you are uh, comfortable with. Um, this is the mop base. Okay, clips on, clips off. If you saw my other demonstration um, with the Enviro wand, that's exactly what I did. I just took off the mop base and put on the Enviro wand. Um, down below you can't see right now, but I'm going to go ahead and pick it up. It's just a Velcro, so I can just go to the floor and pick up my first um, mop pad. This is yellow, yellow, sun, dry. This is your dry mop pad. This one you will not use wet, and it is to, it's like you're dusting mitt on steroids. <laughs> it just dusts your floor um, very, very, very well. It's also known as your silent vacuum. Um, and when you're working with this, you're going to work in the figure eight. I'm just going to show you over here. So when you're walk, when you're mopping with your dry mop, you're going to pick up everything in front of you, like in the figure eight, and just keep it in front of you. Okay, you can see I'm picking up some stuff here. All right, and then when you pick it up, whatever you pick up, you take your. I'm not sure if you can see what I have on there. You can see some things on there. Um, but you will take your rubber brush. And over your garbage, and with your rubber brush, you're just going to brush it off into the garbage. Then, once you're all vacuumed up and you're ready to go, you will use your Velcro blue mop pad. Blue, wet, water. So you're going to use the blue mop pad. This is the actual cleaning pad. This is like an Enviro cloth on steroids. You're going to use this wet. You don't need to soak it. It does not need to be soaking wet. Um, you can even go around with just a water bottle. And hook it into your pocket and with just a water bottle spray the floor um, that you're about to mop up. I also like to dilute some UPP, some of our um, powdered um, laundry detergent in the water and I can use that for a deeper clean on my floors. But honestly, you only need water. Great on hardwood, great on tile, great on linoleum. Whatever surface you need, it is okay to use this wet mop pad with because you're not soaking it. All right, this is a little bit different. When you're using this mop pad, like the dry mop pad, I was doing the figure eight moving forward. With the wet mop pad, you want to do the figure eight, but you want to move back towards yourself, okay? So it was an awesome video. I don't know how to salsa very well, but it was an awesome video, and it said, you just want to do the salsa with it, okay? So you're going to move it backwards. If you're going to do traditional, if you're traditional trying to um, go back and forth, back and forth, sometimes the, the water will make the mop pad slip, and it's quite annoying. So you don't you to avoid that you're working with this backwards. I also find that if I do it linear to get tough spots, then I can push down really hard and get some tough dirty spots. But otherwise, you're working your way backwards. This way, you're also not walking into what you've already cleaned. So if you're walking this way with the mop, you're walking with what you clean. If you walk this way with the mop, you're cleaning and you're keeping your dirty feet out of it. And both mop pads can be washed. This does have the back block in it. So if you rinse it off with hot water and hang it to dry, you will be ready to go 24 hours later um, and no mold, mildew, or bacteria will be growing or multiplying on that cloth from when you rinsed it. That is what the back block is. Um, I have other videos show telling you what the back block is. However, just the recap is it's micro silver embedded in the cloth, made together all at once, can't come out. Cannot be washed out, cannot be taken out, cannot be wiped out. It is embedded in that cloth, it's not going anywhere. And what silver does is it's a natural or um, you know, a natural antimicrobial. So it doesn't allow mold, mildew, or bacteria to grow on the cloth while it's hanging to dry. Very important to make sure you hang it by its tag here. Um, just a quick story um, of my experience with the mop pad um, is my son spilled an entire cup of milk on the hardwood floor right over there when I first got the mop. And at first I went for an entire roll of paper towels. And I said, no wait, I have the mop now. So I went and got this mop and I actually used it dry first so that it would soak up all the milk. I went and rinsed it out and then I went back and went over the whole area again just to make sure I got everything up. I rinsed and rinsed and rinsed in hot water and then I hung it to dry and I thought, well, for sure this is going to have some sour milk smell in it, for sure. Well, I forgot about it and a few days later I went up to the mop pad and I was hanging in my doorway down to the basement and I put it right up to my nose and I smelled it and I could not find 
a smell. I could not find that sour milk smell. It absolutely amazed me. And what that proved to me was that the back lock really truly works because I did not rinse that cloth out. I did not rinse this mop pad off enough so that there was no residue left. I know that that back lock went to work and did not allow all of that bacteria, if it was bacteria there, to multiply. So whatever, one, whatever little bits that were left were not able to multiply. When bacteria cannot multiply, it does not grow. It does not live. It dies. So it's not killing it as it's working, right? We're, we're not saying that we're killing the bacteria. We are removing it. We're rinsing it out. And then whatever's left needs to be able to multiply. The silver doesn't allow to do that. If it doesn't multiply, it doesn't grow. All right, that is the mop system with a little recap of the backlog.